Here we have a collection of bone figures from Jeff Smith's comic Bone. Just super awesome collection. If you read the comics, <coughs> I'm sure that you will be a fan of these figures. <coughs> Now the guru is going to tell you all about them. Alright, we're going to do this quick. I like to keep my videos short if I can. We got the Reaper Woman. She leads the rat creatures. The Dark One. I don't know. I guess... I can't really remember why this is with her, but... It is. It comes off of her. And here's her face. Creepy. And she is sister to her. And this is the face that the Reaper had on. Phony bone, I think. Anyways. This is the grandma. She's got like a action thing or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh baby, here we go. What? What? I can give you a handy. A handy handy. Ha 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 she's got her little cane, which is like Yoda and uh, the Emperor she's and Watto. Super strong, badass grandma. Chuck Chuck Watto. We got foam bone, right? Or is this bone? Or? It's bone. Bone. He's got his little cricket on his finger there. It clips on. So cute. He's got his map here. And this is his hat. I don't know where his backpack is. I guess it's in my daughter's room. His backpack had the book with it. The Moby Dick book. Give me a 360. His cape comes off. This came with another bone, because I got a set of used ones, but they were so scuffed up, so I decided to open all the new ones. And here we got Thorn, right? She's the hot character for the story. Very hot. Meowza. Even Bone wants in on that. But I had to have her. Like, she was one of the best ones out of it. I was like, dude, I gotta get her. She's just, like, so cool. And phone. This is Phone Bone. Phone Bone. Ugh. I don't even have it here. What a rip off for the review. But uh, he came with a telescope and a huge spear that went, like, all the way up to here. So, pretty cool. Cause, oh, and his hat. I don't have any of their hats. Ugh. But he had this little top hat. It looked like a Moby Dick hat. Because he's Moby Dick. He's cool. Cool paint job on him. They get dirty very easily. Peg leg. And we got Phony Bone, right? Smiley bone. Smiley bone. Oh well. He plucks away. But do 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 do. And uh, he had a little tiny round hat. I can't believe I don't have these here. It's such a rip off to the toys because they look so cool with the hats. But the hats don't stay on them at all. That's why they're not here. And he has a cigar, but the cigar won't be held in his hand. There's also a red coat version where he has his tongue out instead of a smile. I have that. Didn't open it up. Figure one was enough. His cigar didn't go in his hand. If it went in his hand, he'd be a lot cooler, because then he could smoke it. He's always smoking it with his little red hat on. But, uh... Here we got the rat creatures. They like, uh, quiche. Where's my quiche? Where's my quiche? I brought the quiche in here. Oh, I see it. Did you get it? No. There's the quiche. They're always talking about quiche. There's always two of these guys talking about quiche. But there's like a whole army of rat creatures. And I have a theory on the rat creatures, okay? Like, they were all killed in this great war by Thorn, the grandma, and this other big dude. And this is their, like, king, King Dockier. Who is massive, by the way. Did his tongue fall out again? No, it's good, it's good. 
Yeah, he's massive. Oh, thing about him, his head does not turn left or right. That's because I broke it. So now it like goes down too easily. It doesn't want to stay up all day. It'll go down by the end of the night. He can stand up on two legs. And I guess his head can go down now. <laughs> I just think so. He's cool. He's one of those cooler toys I have. If his neck wasn't broken, I'd put him up there in the top, like, 25, maybe. Because I just feel like he's fierce. He's not too heavy. He's not really light. I feel like he could just rip some people up, man. And I have this theory on him that most of them were wiped out. There's two, two thoughts processes on it. Is they were all like this, and it's like bees, and there's only one queen bee that grows really large like this out of the herd. Or, the original war, they were all like this. Because they were all matured adults that probably lived like for however long it takes to live this big. But, they slaughtered them. And the only one left was this one. And it decided to start a herd and litter to get its revenge for its people or something like that. It comes with this cool stand. Looks like some rock. But it's not, it's plastic. And it's got a little plastic pole, and it goes in a hole right up here on his neck. And his knees can go back. So it looks like he's running. Ah, but these toys are made like no other toys, man. They're like very different. He can look like he's like leaping. He's cool. And he's got a little hole in his hand with a peg on the stick for his little staff, his little king staff. His eyes, let's check his eyes out. I don't know how clean they are. He's got some pretty spooky eyeballs. Looks like he's got the little hole in the middle there. Can you actually see that, Ashley? I mean, sunshine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, got a hole down in the middle. Looks super cool. Makes it look like his eyes. Cool, okay. like purple tint to him. Yeah, and he's got a purple tint to his all his fur. And then they fought. <laughs> ah, I turned my head to look at you when I put on my fist. <laughs> Grandma wouldn't last like two seconds. <laughs> Let me play you a song. What did you do? Oh, snap. <laughs> I'll finish him off. easier than I thought it was going to be. What the da da <sighs> I'm Craig Dark and I will eat your soul! <laughs> King Dark is winner! <laughs> 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 <laughs>